The grim news of Titan's a submersible tearing into pieces due to an implosion has triggered a barrage of reaction from around the world. Not only the victims' families are mourning, but filmmaker James Cameron has also expressed grief over the incident. Cameron on Thursday said that he wished that he had sounded an alarm over the submersible before it set off for a voyage to the Titanic's wreck. The filmmaker, who is also a keen ocean explorer, claimed that he had found that the craft's design was risky, but he chose to remain silent as he had never experimented with it, with the technology involved in making the submersible. So Ocean Gate shouldn't have been doing what it was doing. I think that's pretty clear. I wish I had been more vocal about that, but I think I was unaware that they weren't certified uh, because I wasn't really studying it. I wish I'd spoken up. You know, but I I assumed somebody was smarter than me, you know, because I'd never experimented with that technology. The director of the Oscar winning film, The Titanic, also claimed that several warnings were ignored about the safety of the submersible. Cameron said that this had been the source of widespread concern in the close knit ocean exploration community. There was a lot of concern about this outfit and this sub. A lot of concern, even to the extent that I wasn't involved in it because I was making Avatar 2 at the time, but a lot of them got together and wrote a letter to, uh, to Ocean Gate and said, you have to certify. You cannot take people down. It's irresponsible. And it could lead to catastrophe. Literally, the word catastrophe is in the letter. And I think that letter has been made public. All those signatories have come off. Meanwhile, families of the victims issued statements on the incident. Some of these thanked the international rescue operators for doing all they could. The five aboard includes the British billionaire and explorer Hamish Harding, Pakistani British business magnate Shahzada Dawood, and his 19-year-old son, Suleiman, French oceanographer and Titanic expert Paul Henry Nargalo, and Stockton Rush, the American founder and chief executive of OceanGate, who was piloting the submersible. UK and Pakistan also expressed grief over the incident. Taking to Twitter, the British Foreign Minister James cleverly offered condolences and said that the government was supporting families of the victims. Pakistan Foreign Ministry expressed anguish through a tweet for the family of the Pakistan origin father and son duo and appreciated the multinational rescue operation. Strong reaction was also witnessed in New York's Times Square. Take a listen. I think it's a tragedy as any tragedy, but I think um, it was highlighted uh, because basically there was a certain group of people that chose to go on that trip and probably it gets a little bit more of media attention than the usual disasters that happen out there in the sea. That's what I think. I think it's very sad with the technology that we have today. Uh, they should have found those people. They should have brought them up, you know. They should have sent another one down there because they have, you know, the equipment, you know, the United States, the, the Navy, all of that. They should have sent another one down there to come get them. The company OceanGate Expeditions has been carrying out such voyages to the shipwreck of the Titanic since 2021. It charges $250,000 for this trip. But the incident has raised questions on how safe it is to dive deep into such ocean depths.